The big car seems suddenly to have become public enemy number one. If you drive a gorgeous beast that's packed with power and just oozes talk, then the envious looks you would have once received have been replaced by glares from the Green Brigade. And let's face it, the amount of money you spend filling the tank on one of these gas guzzlers could support a small third world country for a year. Nope, the powers that be seem determined to drive us into little cars with less power than a lawnmower. And every manufacturer worth its salt has jumped onto the bandwagon. Nissan didn't jump on the bandwagon, they really started the whole ball rolling. When they launched their small car, the Micra, in 1992, it was billed as a small car with a big car character. There was nothing else quite like it on the market, and it promptly waltzed off with a 1993 European Car of the Year award. Its lousy suspension forgiven because it looked so cute. But now, cute is everywhere, and Nissan have decided that it's time for the Micra to have a revamp. And all the tweaking seems to have worked. Micra 98 is much more fun to drive, but not as much fun as this version. We've approached uh, the range differently this time and we're offering a much wider choice. There are three basic models, uh, an entry-level model, um, the GX, which is a, a comfort model, and the SI, which is a sporty model. Those three basic ones, you can then add various different packs of options. So you really can tailor the car to pretty much any way you want, including colour. There are ten colours to choose from, and you can have any one of those ten colours on any of the models in the range. Decisions, decisions. Now I have to choose for which of the three optional packs to go for. Should it be sporty with beefy bumpers and alloy wheels? Or maybe I'm more of a city girl. Maybe power steering and remote central locking is me. And once you've decided whether you're going to go for sporty or for comfort, it's the engine. The one litre or maybe the 1.3. Next, you need to decide if you want to zoom around in a manual or Nissan's version of the automatic, continually variable transmission, which for the first time in a car in its class can now be used in conjunction with ABS. It's all very well Nissan giving us absolutely heaps of choice, but if they're going to turn the Micra into more than just a cute little thing that appeals to women with young children or pensioners, then they're going to have to turn it into rather more of a driver's car. We felt we didn't need to change it completely. I think if you look at many other cars in the, in the market, in some way they've caught up. This, this round, quite friendly shape is a very popular thing. What we wanted to do was really broaden the appeal of it. Uh, it sold very well to women, particularly those with children, and to older people. Generally, men did not uh, warm to it. They felt it looked cute. And what we wanted to do was just make the car look a bit more assertive to, to broaden the appeal for it. Yeah, you say that you've, you didn't want to change it too much and that other people have caught up with you. Micro, when it first came out, was sort of revolutionary. It was very, very different. Yes. Do you not feel that maybe you should have tried to raise the stakes again this time? No. No, I think uh, small cars have a long life um, and they all last about 10 years and that's very much an industry norm. So for us it was, it was adapting and improving. Uh, there was never any question of sort of starting again. I don't think we think we needed to. It's, it's got a character. We wanted to build on it and really just broaden the appeal for the car. Well, there are some significant changes to the outside of the car, I think particularly at the front. Um, you can see there's a new bonnet and a new grille. Um, and new headlamps that give it a much more assertive look on the road. We wanted to give it a bit more road presence. Um, also along the side there are some differences uh, with the, the trims and at the, and at the rear as well. The idea is not to change it radically because the Micra has a very strong identity and we need to keep that. We just want to improve it a little bit, give it more road presence. But the big changes or bigger changes are on the inside where there's a completely redesigned uh, interior, new dash, um, new seats and new materials that we think gives the car a real sort of big car feel 
uh, for a super mini. So we think people are going to really see the difference and, uh, and, and be appreciative of them.